what up YouTube today's video I want to talk about once you read a certain once you reach a certain amount of knowledge right life and everything that we have been taught in life it starts to you know it starts to deteriorate what we have been taught you know because they say that everything that we have been taught as in like school wise or what else taught as in manner wise and all this stuff is the wrong way of doing things right now first things first i just want to say this you should always have manners you see what i'm saying like a lot of people what they get misconstrued about me is they think that i'm a mean person because i'm quiet i have a real serious exterior about myself but that doesn't mean that i'm mean you see what i'm saying i'm just like focused like i'm just focused like i'm focused on my goals and visualizing things into reality that I'm trying to make this shit happen. You see what I'm saying? So it may seem like I'm mean or it may seem like I might not have manners and stuff like that. It's not that. I'm just trying to visualize things in my reality. You see what I'm saying? So I can get certain things manifested. Now, like I was saying, how they say that, how the school system taught us, you can say the prison systems, because all that shit is nothing but having people mad institutionalized. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, I've never been to prison. Don't plan on going. But school is just like prison. So you could pretty much say you've been in prison. You see what I'm saying? But it's like a prison for kids if you want to get technical. But really what I'm trying to say is like they say that everything we have been taught, that two plus two and all this, you know what I'm saying? Like all this orthodox BS, they say that it's the wrong way of doing things because we really, they say the black people in America are the Israelites and stuff like that. And the white people in America are the Edomites. You know, the blah, 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 the Bible stuff. But I believe that to a certain extent, though. See what I'm saying? Because, like I said, we all Moorish. No matter what ethnicity you is, you have some type of Moorish DNA in you because, like I say, you could talk about roots. Like, we could go back to roots. Only reason why I'm saying roots is because it's pretty much like the, <clears throat> the Hollywood version or the washed down version of the Moors. Because, you know, they basically trying to say that the slaves is Africans, but the Africans really the Moors because the Moors is the original divine beings by nature. And the first people on this planet was black people, melanated people, copper colored people, whatever the fuck you want to say. You see what I'm saying? It's that. But what I'm trying to tell you is that everybody is more because the one drop rule, you know what I'm saying? They say 7.8 million Americans, I mean, 7.8 million white Americans in America today are considered black by the one drop rule because their ancestors was raped by you know our ancestors our ancestors was raped by their ancestors so on and so forth we know this that's why i say go back to roots you see them raping the uh they raping the slaves but they say the slaves dirty and they say blacks is niggers and all that but they still want to rape the slaves you see what i'm saying so all the dna and genetics has been mixed down and shit like that you see what i'm saying so really if you want to go beyond further than that you know what i'm saying like they say it's been a lot of brainwashing shit going on with this shit. You feel me? So, like, they really try to say that what we have been taught in today's society is really not the truth because the Moors is erased out the, uh, the, uh, history. Uh, what else? Look, the Drake, the Draco, Planet Draco is erased out the history books. Like, they don't even really talk about the planets in science anymore. You feel me? Like I said, man, I graduated from high school in 2013. And around that time, you feel me, they were not really talking about shit anyway. So I know they for damn sure they talk about shit to the kids that's in school now. You see what I'm saying? And that's why you have to educate yourself. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, like you got to know what's real and what's not real. You know what I'm saying? Only your mind can tell you what's real and what's not real. And yes, it's hotter than a motherfucker, though. I ain't going to lie. This sun beam me for like the Mojave in this bitch. But I'm just trying to tell you, though, like, when that knowledge first hit me, I ain't know what to believe. I ain't know if the Jesus thing was real or not. And like I said, I'm not taking anybody faith away from them. But me personally, I don't believe. Well, I don't call my savior Jesus. Like I said, I call my savior the most highs, Allah, the universe. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. You can't judge me because it's the same person that you call Jesus. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You think Jesus is a male. Somebody else may think Jesus is a female. Real talk. Or they may think they hire deity or they God is a female. You see what I'm saying? You can't judge nobody because at the end of the day, as long as we all represent something that stands for the light, it's pretty much all under the same wing. So they really trying to get us to divide and conquer and fight our, and fight amongst ourselves. How they got 
the Christians fighting the um they got the Christians fighting the Muslims. You know, you know how all that other religious BS, they got all the religions fighting each other, but all the deities that represent each other all stand for the light. You know what I'm saying? Christianity, uh what's that other shit? Damn. Um Hinduism, uh like it's like a lot of like a, a lot of religions. I can't even think of it right now, but I'm just saying though, like how the system got our mind fucked up. But like once you start getting that real, real, real truth, you will start teaching. You see what I'm saying? It's like your throat chakra will open up, and you will start teaching. Like you're gonna be receiving the knowledge still, but that's how you know when you advance the knowledge because you're gonna start teaching the knowledge. Because at first you're gonna just sit back and receive the knowledge. You see what I'm saying? And then at one point, you're going to have so much knowledge that you're going to have to start teaching it. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to start teaching it. Because what's the point of having knowledge if you don't share it with your fellow people? You know what I'm saying? That's why they say these secret societies and these, uh, yeah, these secret societies and all the elites and all that, they evil because they hoard the secret knowledge to themselves. They don't want everybody to know this. That's why you have certain people like your Jay-Z's or your Beyonce's and Kanye West's. And I'm just naming them people. Like, you have certain people like that. You know what I'm saying? Your Kendrick Lamar's, J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? Your Radio Joe's, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You have to be your own hero. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have people like that. You know what I'm saying? 13 Sons, Aquarius Sons. You know what I'm saying? All these people. You have these people because they have the knowledge. They have the true light. You see what I'm saying? You are the true light. You know what I'm saying? I am the true light. You know what I'm saying? So what's the point of having information if you're not going to share it? That's why, that's why they consider the elite or the upper echelon people evil because they have the knowledge and don't want to share it with people but that's why you got to break through the system so you can know the information and then you can arise above their authority you see what i'm saying real talk man love yourself people